Hello guys and welcome back. We are in Prehistoric Kingdom. My name is Heister and thank you so much for coming along. In today's episode we are going to be building a kind of research lab or an area where the dinosaurs will be taken and they can be examined, healed, looked after and sort of cared for but also having a kind of um, a an eerie kind of a evil research lab where they might do tests as well just to sort of throw it in there and give it a bit of a sort of futuristic vibe where they'll be doing manipulations and stuff like that so i was building the uh, actual area and the idea was to have a large gate entrance which you will see a bit further in the episode where the dinosaurs will be brought in now again to use your imagination because you can't kind of make modular pieces move the idea is that the gate would open up the dinosaur would come in it would land onto this large white area there's a little cross in the middle just to, you know pinpoint where the dinosaur is going to go and it would go there and you'd have all these bits and bobs in the ceiling that would be coming down probing it or fixing it or healing it and there'd be like a little desk behind where they got a glass panel they got a nice control area and then behind that there's a much more sophisticated control area where you've got loads of buttons screens on the walls a large style desk that you normally see in the films you know when they're all sort of hovering around a table and they're all talking to each other about how they're going to do this or do that or what's the best plan that's what i've done there as well i've got this nice square table big screen in the middle and again use your imagination you've got to think a hologram is going to come up maybe a picture of a dinosaur or a planet they want to go to, you know that that sort of thing and um, that's sort of in the same sort of room area where the dinosaur would be worked on as well as i was building this i left quite a large room to expand to do other things and I do think down the line I want to add in some, some areas where you can have, say, some bedrooms or those, you know, like cabin areas that the staff can stay in and they can kind of, um, they're like really small beds and like little holes in the walls where they can get like two bunkers, that, that kind of style I'm thinking I could make a little bit further on. But because we're using this kind of space style tunnel area where you walk down the tunnels and everything's really symmetrical like you see in the films where the whole entire walkway or the half area of the, of the ship is is completely identical and it's just a few doors that take you into different areas and then things start to expand and change as you go through. now again because of the items that we're using are kind of limited in terms of what the style you can go with and so i'm using the metal i'm using the nice glass again i'm using a few bits of white just for uh just add a bit more color into it but again it's got a really cold feeling because again there's not many options to choose in terms of style i mean there is wood but i didn't think wood would suit this sort of thing it's a research lab now i did have an idea of doing the whole thing completely white but ever since i've built the house in another episode i've kind of really gone off it because it was just too too much glare on it as it was exposing onto the image so i've stuck with the the concrete again and i think it suits it very well it gives it that kind of feeling that it is quite a lab style kind of underground sort of bunker or again spaceship kind of thing and i think it suits it quite nicely now on the walls i made some gas pipes going up the top which i thought was a nice little uh, little add-on for it i thought it gave it a bit more character like there's some uh, air circulation going on now there are some corridors going around and there's a little area coming away from the uh, space where the dinosaur is where the staff can go outside and enjoy uh, watching large screens on these floating glass panels and they've got some flowers out there but again it's not an area that's meant to look very modern in terms of like it is now it's more of about a thing that you'd have imagined something more in the future I added in some kind of bay windows on one of the corridors I was tempted to add it into more of the wind like as all the way around the square but I thought I'd just add it to one side so you've got a little bit more privacy in, in a sense when you're in there and you can just see obviously through the one side i think when you're in the tunnel as well and you're looking out into the garden it's quite nice i double i doubled up on the glass because the glass is quite see-through and i wanted a little bit of a tint so doubling up on the glass gives that nice sort of blurry sort of look into the habitat um so yes i think that's every base covered i think that's everything i've done in the video um i've done some more scenery and grass and stuff like that as well um but yeah in terms of the actual thing the main focus was to build an area where the dinosaur would be worked on and the control panel behind and again there is future development where we could be expanding on that to the rooms sports areas canteens etc so as always guys i'm gonna leave it there i hope you enjoy the episode I hope you enjoy watching um they all come together hopefully you like it. if you do don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up and if you do don't be afraid to leave a comment down below and I shall hopefully see you in the next episode. So once again, thanks you so much for watching guys and I will see you very, very soon. See you later. Bye bye.